can't believe I'm here after all these years. It's literally. Oh. Oh! Hey everyone, my name is Sam, and it is with equal excitement and fear that I state that we are playing today Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, if you don't know what Five Nights at Freddy's is, where the fuck have you been? No, seriously, where the fuck have you been? Five Nights at Freddy's is, I'd say probably one of, if not the most iconic and famous horror game ever made by the legendary Scott Cawthon. And the, the story of Five Nights at Freddy's is something that theorists have been going mad over since the game came out in 2014. And it's still going around, it's still around today. So, thing about me and Five Nights at Freddy's, I've never mentioned FNAF on the channel before, but I've been a tremendous fan of this game, and well, this game franchise, since it came out. Um, I've kept up with many of the different theories, I was a massive theorist back in like the era of like FNAF 3 and 4, so I'm, I'm very in the know when it comes to the lore of this, not so much with the later games, my knowledge sort of tapers off around sister location which is FNAF 5, but we're going to be playing through uh, at least the first four, and if you guys enjoy them, then I'll play uh, all the way through to Pizza Air Simulator. But I don't know if I'm going to be playing Security Breach. I don't know if I can force myself to do it, because it's, it's terrible. But, Five Nights at Freddy's. There's nothing else to say. I've never played this game before. I know how it works, so hopefully that'll give me a bit of an edge. Um... Let's do it. Hope wanted. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Family Pizza here looking for security guard to work the night shift. So 12 a.m. to 6. I didn't see what we got paid, but uh, hopefully it's something good. You know, we're a bit strapped for cash. We're taking a, taking a night shift job. Oh my god, we're actually here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't tell you how crazy this is. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. Uh, it's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free-roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up if they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. 
but then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Shut up, Foxy! Good night, phone guy. Thanks for the tips. Welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's, everyone. At least you've got some comfort in that. So, we have all the cameras. We have we have Bonnie, we have Chica, we have the man Freddy himself, and in here we have Foxy, and he's the one making the dum de dum sounds and pissing me off. Uh, we have the backstage, there's some costumes there, there's an endoskeleton, dining area, the restrooms, the kitchen. Lord knows how many theories came about from this camera being disabled. Uh, we have the supply closet, the west hall, the uh, west hall corner, the east hall and the east hall corner. Rules, well, we may as well read the, yeah, no one's moving, we may as well read the rules. So, rules for safety. Don't run, don't yell, don't scream, don't poop on the floor. Stay close to mom. Well, it's really assuming that they come there with the, oh, like, only their mothers, okay. Uh, don't touch Freddy, don't hit and leave before dark. Thank you, manager. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. Bonnie, 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 where the fuck are you? Where the fuck's Bonnie? Oh, there, there you are, you little bastard. Okay, we're at 3 a.m., 55% power. I'd appreciate it if it was a little bit more, but alright. Uh, um Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Lord above help me. Oh that's funny. My friend Josh is now playing Ultimate Custom Night. That's funny. Bonnie's still there. Can't believe I'm here after all these years. Sh literally. Oh. Oh, Jesus! Fucking hell. Oh, my God. My goodness, my goodness. Oh my god, it's so much scarier when you're playing it. Oh, hey, Foxy. You stay there, you bastard. Bonnie's still there. Oh, oh no, oh no. Turn off the camera, I can't afford to waste power. Bonnie's still there. Where's Chica? Where's Chica? Chica in the kitchen? 
Okay, yo. No, no. I don't. Oh, Jesus. No, piss off. Okay. Barney's gone. No, 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 no. I didn't. I. Wait. Where is Chica? I don't like not knowing where she is. Bonnie's there. Uh, why is Foxy so far out? It's night one. No. No, this isn't supposed to happen. Come on, it's 5am. 31%. We got this. Easily. Whoa! Whoa! Night one, Foxy. Night one. You don't do that to me. That is not okie dokie. Oh, Cheek is definitely in the kitchen. Oh, oh. Where's Bonnie? Bonnie, okay. You're in there. Come on, it's been 5 a.m. for ages. Tip over. Tip over. Oh, no, go away. Oh my god, it's the second night already. Let's do it. I can't tell you. It, I did not expect it to be this scary actually playing the game. I've seen it played so many times, I didn't expect it to be this bad. Oh, phone guy, yes, please. Give me some... Give me some tips. Give me some companionship. Oh! oh. Hey, buddy. Well, if you're hearing this and you made it to day two, uh, congrats. I, I won't talk quite as long this time since Freddy and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in their proper place, you know. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come off stage very often. I've heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though, so hey. I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Uh, I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera view, and those blind spots happen to be right outside your doors. So if, if you can't find something that's handy. or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, of course not. Also, uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for long periods of time. Oh. I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye, phone guy. I wish you'd talk for longer. I could do with some companionship in this living hell. I'm sure you guys have noticed as well, I forgot to mention it in the intro, I I got my new headset. Um, nice, it's red. It's actually uh, much tighter than my other one, which is actually good because it means it won't fucking slip off my head as much as my old one. Where's Chica? Where's Chica? Oh, there you are. Okay. You know, there was me thinking that, you know, oh, it's going to be fine. You're not about to tell me that Freddy's moving as well. Thank God. Hey, Foxy. 
That was me thinking that FNAF 1 would be just like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be, it's, that's gonna be the fun experience before we get on to the more terrifying games later on. But I am genuinely terrified already. I did not expect to be this scared. Oh, hey. It genuinely gives you a heart attack. Get off. Piss off, Bonnie. Bonnie, piss off. Go away. Leave me. Oh, hi, Freddy. Piss off. Can't hold the door closed forever. Thanks, Chica. Chica. Gone. Still there, what the fuck? Where the fuck's Chica gone? Ah, there you are. Bonnie is still there. He's been there for like half an hour. Come on, man. Go away. This is not fair! I'm at 50% power and it's nearly, it's, it's gotta be nearly 3am, please. You're draining my power, Bonnie. Bonnie! Seriously, man! And Foxy's, Foxy's gonna, Foxy's gonna, oh, thank God. Stay away, you bastard. Where's Chica? 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 Oh, I'll keep an eye on Foxy. He's about to make a run for it. I think this one's gonna be close. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know where the fuck Chica is, I couldn't care less at this point. As long as she's not outside my door, then she can go wherever the fuck she pleases. I don't give a shit. You can go... Okay, we're good. <sighs> Breathe. Deep breath. <laughs> In and out. In and out. Somebody's moving. Oh, hey, Chico. Good to see you. See, you're not that scary. There's something about Bonnie that's really creepy. Speak of the devil. I think I'm... 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 I'm, I'm je okay, cheeky has gone. Bonnie gone. No, Bonnie... Of course Bonnie's not gone. Bonnie's gonna stay at my door for another half an hour. Hi. Bonnie gone. He's still not gone, but 30% is 4 a.m. I think this might be our first blackout. It's gonna be really fucking close. Foxy's still there. I want to keep an eye on him, because if he makes a run for it, he's going to drain a lot of my power. Okay, Bonnie's gone. It's going to be close. It's Chica. Chica's there. Okay, we got to... We got to watch out for her. She's right here. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this, as Markiplier would say. I'm genuinely, I'm scared not only because I'm playing this, but I'm terrified in the fact that I promise you guys that I'm going to play the other games. And the other games are much, much worse than this. I now see why it is regarded as such an iconic horror game, because it is truly terrifying. Okay, it's 5am, we're at 17%. Deep breaths. Foxy's still there. Where the fuck's Bonnie? Bonnie! Did you go, Bonnie? Okay, you're in the closet. 
if you could stay in the closet for the rest of the night, that would be really good. Hey, Shika. Shika. Oh, there you are. You gotta get gone, Chica. I can't hold the door closed. Okay, thank God. Less than 10%. I'm... I'm... I'm hoping we can make it. Oh, fuck. Not... With Foxy... Okay, that only took like a percent. He's back in... Back of the Empire's Cove. Come on. It's going to be so close. It's going to be so, so close. Come on. Tip over. Tip over. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, one percent. Oh, 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 I have never been so happy to see that 6am thing. Oh, no, 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 fuck that, fuck that. No, 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 we are not doing the third night. So, everyone, that was Five Nights at Freddy's. I did not expect it to be that terrifying. I don't know why I didn't, because it is... A horror game meant to be scary and it is oh god and it's, it's only gonna get worse we literally made it through with the skin of our teeth last time what does that say about nights three four and five not to mention night six and seven and fucking 420 mode oh god and I know you guys are going to want to see more of this. Because you're horrible. You like to see people like me suffer. But hey, as long as you guys are entertained, that's what matters. Oh, fuck me. So, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I am very unhappy about the fact that I've got to record more of this. And more of the games. I'm already regretting my decision to introduce this game to the channel. But hey, no going back now. I mean, I could just not edit this and, you know, be like, Oh, yeah, my, my computer can't run for that. No, that, that's bullshit and you would all know it. If my computer can run Minecraft, then it can run FNAF. You know this game was, was like 200 megabytes. I'm recording in HD right now. I never usually do that. Well, uh, 60 FPS. Um, I never usually do that. Oh, man. Well, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. And I will see you on another video very, very soon. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. God help me.